we're going to learn how to sew a button today. I have my very large button and my very large needle for ease of seeing how to actually do this. So we're going to go ahead and place our button where we want and you'll thread the needle. So go ahead and put the thread through the needle and you're going to double it over. I'm using twine so you can see it. Then you tie a knot through both layers. I usually like to do it twice. All right, just like that. We are going to go up from the back through our fabric. And with four buttons, you can decide if you want diagonal or back and forth. I prefer the diagonal, so I'm gonna go ahead and Go to the hole diagonally. And you repeat this about four to five times on each side. So come up from the back. Honestly, it's a little bit harder with this giant needle. I find my hole. All right. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that I did that four or five times. Always make sure that you pull it tight and then you switch. So come up the other way. You do this about four to five times as well. All right, and then once you've done that, you come up, but instead of going all the way through, you come up between the fabric and the button. Okay, we're gonna do what's called a button shank. So what we do is once your needle is between the fabric and the button, we're just gonna wrap around the base of the button a few times so that it helps the button sit off the top of the fabric. So once we've wrapped it around a few times and we feel like it's nice and secure, we're gonna just go ahead and finish off. So you're gonna grab a little bit of the fabric <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm wrestling it. Alright then go ahead and bring your needle through that loop before you pull it Pull it tight, do that twice, trim your thread, and your button is on.